We can't tell you the name of this dentist, but we can tell you that he recommends this toothbrush to each and every one of his patients. Hi, my name is Dr. Dennis Sternberg and I've been practicing dentistry for 36 years. I'm not a toothbrush salesman. What I can tell you is that I've seen the movies, I've seen and laughed through Little Shop of Horrors and Marathon Man. And I'm used to dentists being the brunt of jokes. But what I have to tell you is that a good dentist is just as important as a good physician. You know, the ones you love on television and you'd entrust your lives to. You entrust your life to your dentist, maybe you don't even know that you do. But in this series, I'm going to explain to you just how important the whole human being is, attached to the teeth and to the mouth, and explain to you all the different things that your dentist should and must do to give you not just the healthiest, most beautiful smile, but protect your health and even your life. 34,000 Americans will be diagnosed with oral cancer this year. That's 8,000 that will die from oral cancer this year. That's one per hour, 24 hours a day, every day. Oral cancer kills more people than melanoma and twice as many as those afflicted with cervical cancer. Over 25% of people afflicted with oral cancer don't smoke and don't abuse alcohol. And recent studies have found that it's affecting women and young people more than ever. Oral cancer is the most physically deforming of all cancer. Incidence of oral cancer has dramatically increased and the dentist must be the health professional that is the first line of defense to screen and diagnose this terrible disease. Unfortunately, only a small minority of dentists routinely perform oral cancer screening which is comprehensive. The studies show that only 15% perform even routine oral cancer screens. The bulk of my practice is restorative and cosmetic dentistry, but every patient, even children, on every recall examination every six months gets a comprehensive oral cancer screen. That's how important it is. No person has microscopic vision, uh, and surely I don't, and in just a few moments I'm going to show you and go through with you just how a proper oral cancer screening should be. This is Randy and she's our patient today and what we're going to do is actually perform a complete oral exam and oral cancer evaluation for her. Are you ready Randy? I'm ready. Here we go. So we're going to put the chair back and take her on a little ride and this is done before any of the other treatment is done. And the first thing what we do is to check the thyroid area and we palpate the thyroid area would you swallow please Randy and what I'm checking for are little bumps or nodules which may or may not be present and if any are what I do is refer my patients to their physician to further evaluate anything that I might find next I'm going to check the lymph nodes in her neck and near her clavicle of her shoulder and then the other side and I'm feeling for anything that's abnormal and one thing every dentist learns in school is what is normal and again I don't have microscopic eyes but anything that doesn't belong stands out to me and should to everyone open your mouth please close that's the temporomandibular joint that I'm checking and behind her neck there are also lymph nodes which I'm checking just relax for a second Randy I'm going to take a, a piece of cotton and what I'm going to do, Randy, is I'm going to put the light on and I'm going to check your lips, your tongue, your cheeks, your palate, under your tongue, in the back of your throat, and I'm going to feel and look and make sure everything is healthy. So I retract the lips with good lighting and I look at her lips and her gums and I palpate the top of her palate close your teeth, open your mouth, 
please put your tongue out, stick your tongue out like you would do with a girlfriend when you were in grammar school. There you go. And uh, look under the tongue on both sides. Then I feel under the tongue, and I'm feeling for any lymph nodes or bumps or lumps. And fortunately and unfortunately, I found them in children and adults, and they've gone on to their physicians and it saved their lives. I'm also going to ask you to stick your tongue out. Say ah. Uh. Close your mouth. And everything looks just fine and normal and healthy, and that's great. And that's the way it is for most patients. But there are times when a little lump, a little bump, a little white patch or a little red patch, which may seem innocuous, is detected. At that point, I can do what's called a brush biopsy. It's just a little brush that's stroked over the area. Cells are plated onto a, a glass slide and I send it to the laboratory. And they can tell without cutting, without shaving, if there is any cellular change. Similar things are pap smears and they work wonderfully on the microscopic level. And if I were to find something, I would brush biopsy. So that's the story for today. You've seen what an oral cancer screening is. I've talked to you a little bit about my rants and raves, but I'm going to explain to you in future visits just what dentists do. I'll be showing you veneers, I'll be showing you endodontic therapy, I'll be showing you traditional dentistry under what's called the rubber dam, and that will be interesting, very interesting for you, so I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, I'm Dr. Dennis Sternberg, and this is my great patient Randy. Have a great day.